welcome to Life Senses with Jyoti Sri. This is Srikant, and today we have a very very important topic, and that is vaccination. Let us see some interesting and unknown facts. What is vaccine? Who prepared the first vaccine? How did they come up with the idea of vaccine? Who is the first person to get vaccinated? Which is the first country to approve vaccine? And when will you get vaccinated? What is a vaccine? A vaccine is a product that stimulates a person's immunity system towards a disease and protecting him from that disease. Vaccine. Many people have many doubts about what is a vaccine and how it is different from a medicine. Well, let us let us try to understand know what vaccine is and how it is generally prepared in a, in a, in a simple way. Okay. Let us first appreciate Edward Jenner. You know, he is the first person in 1796 that he has prepared the first vaccine for smallpox. You know, when Newton, you know, observed an apple falling from the tree, he, he then got an idea about gravity. In a similar way, Edward Jenner observed that the people who have already caught smallpox were not catching it again. So he did not understand why the general methodology was not working. So he has observed something which did not happen previously. But definitely the thought or the idea of preparing a vaccine is a breakthrough and is a wonderful uh, moment in the history of uh, humankind you know because the thought process itself has changed when when you're trying to face an unknown disease and that has tremendously changed the world and the thinking of many many doctors and scientists uh, after Edward Jenner and they come up with different methodologies of course but the initiative was taken by him and we definitely have to appreciate that. Why vaccination is great? Vaccination is great because until then, the only method for curing a disease is to kill it. But vaccination, the idea of vaccination has changed the solution for the problem when you face an unknown disease an immediate and a sudden attack of a new disease then the idea of vaccination came so what is the what is what is the greatness behind the idea of vaccination so when we don't know the disease when we don't know the nature of the disease then we have to take help of something so our scientists the thought behind that is taking help of the most complex mm -hmm army in the world and that army is our own body's immune system right so what is immune system uh, let us simply if we simplify it let us say it is like our indian army defending us at our borders so how did we take help of our immune system on a daily basis millions of foreign particles if you say this is just we can simplify it as foreign particles so for many millions of foreign particles enter our body and our body's immune system will kill them immediately if we have to take medicine for every foreign particle that is entering our body then i believe a billion dollar pharmaceutical company has to run its manufacturing pipeline through our body well that's hypothetical but even then i'm not sure you know all the all the foreign particles will be get right so yes so that's how complicated it is and and thank god it is the nature and it is completely free of cost let us see the actual process of preparing your vaccine as i mentioned earlier in a simple way uh, by the way all the experts scientifically this may not be 100% right but because we are trying to explain this to a common man who is not scientifically sound enough let's see how this works out 
if we simplify a disease into a foreign particle and when a foreign particle is entering into our body okay then let us say it, it, it induces or it produces an antigen okay remember the term antigen and now let's say disease is equal to antigen okay it is not directly is equal to antigen but let's assume it's antigen okay so now now there is antigen in our body and automatically our body's immune system will produce an antibody for this antigen okay for the specific antigen a specific antibody is created and this antibody kills the antigen okay that's simple is it no there is a much complex process involved there but to simplify it yes the antibody kills the antigen and the disease is cured but when some unknown those times are changing you know there are uh, you know people are trying to experiment on their foods and experiment on their vacations or you know trying to uh, uh, enter into new terrains once an unknown particle enters your body sometimes your body is not well prepared enough to fight that particular or that new antigen yes eventually it may kill it but it may take many years and we might have you know there might be many lives which might be lost so our scientists came up with a wonderful idea of boosting or preparing our immune system then how did they do it they have you know once the foreign particles enter the, the new disease the unknown disease enters into our, our body and the antigen is ready in the body they have taken a weaker version let's say a weaker soldier okay of the antigen and a stronger soldier of the antibody you know the person who has not been infected yet so his immune system has a stronger body you know so it is stronger soldier so what they have done is they have taken them both into a laboratory okay and they have arranged a fight okay so in this particular fight our soldier the antibody soldier the strong soldier has you know while fighting with the uh, weaker soldier of the antigen he has learned the nature of the antigen the, the way they actually uh, behave and what he has done is obviously he is stronger and is going to defeat the weaker antigen this particular strong soldier has won against the uh, the antigen and has killed it and defeated it so now this uh, strong soldier will prepare another army of soldiers and this army let us say this army is called as vaccine now this particular whole army knows the nature of the antigen the foreign particle and knows how to fight it so once they they are prepared they are injected into a person who is that is basically still not infected and now at this particular stage if the virus attacks him the already the army is present in that particular body so they are ready to fight against the uh, the particular uh, antigen or the foreign particle out the disease and defeat it and that's how the process of vaccination or uh, the effect you know, of vaccination is done now the most important question or the next important question what is the difference between vaccine and a medicine well vaccine is prevention and medicine is the cure so vaccine is before and medicine is after the effect okay let's say uh, it's like you switching on a mosquito repeller in the night before going to sleep is the vaccine and you giving a tight slap on yourself once the mosquito bites is the cure Uh, well by then the mosquito might have uh, flown away now let us come to a segment which is very much informative that is what are the vaccines that are approved by countries and the vaccine that is approved in india is covaxin and it is developed by 
भारत बायोटेक आईसीएमआर एंड द नेक्स्ट वैक्सीन इज बी एन टी वन सिक्स टू बी टू विच इज डेवलप बाई फाइजर एंड बायो एन टेक विच इज वाइडली यूज इन द वर्ल्ड इट इज अप्रूव बाई यूनाइटेड किंगडम बहरेन कैनेडा मेक्सिको यूएस सिंगापुर ऑस्ट्रेलिया यूक्यूडोर जॉर्डन पनामा चाइल ओमन सऊदी अरेबिया अर्जेंटीना स्विटरलैंड कुआइट यू फिलिपाइंस एंड पाकिस्तान कोलंबिया इराक इसराइल कतार सिंगापुर यूनाइटेड अरब एमरेट्स ग्रीनलैंड एंड मेनी कंट्रीज द नेक्स्ट वैक्सीन इज मॉडर्ना कोविड नाइन्टीन वैक्सीन विच इज एम आर एन ए वन टू सेवन थ्री एंड इट इज डेवलप बाई मॉडर्ना B A R D A N I A I T and these are approved in Canada Israel Saudi Arabia Switzerland United Kingdom United States European Union Faroe Islands Greenland Iceland Norway The next vaccine is CoronaVac and this is developed by Sinovac and which is used in China, Bolivia, Turkey, Indonesia and Brazil. The next vaccine is COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca AZD1222 which is developed by B A R D A and O W S which is used in UK, Argentina, Salvador, Dominican Republic, India, Bangladesh Mexico, Nepal, Pakistan, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Hungary and Thailand. The next drug is Sputnik V. This is developed by Gamaliel Research Institute, Ursulina Contract Drug Research and Development. It is widely used in Russia, Belarus, Argentina, Ghana, Bolivia, Algeria and many other countries. The next vaccine is B B I B P core B which is developed by Beijing Institute of Biological Products this is the China National Pharmaceutical Group which is called as Sinopharm it is used in China Bahrain United Arab Emirates Egypt Jordan Iraq Pakistan and Serbia the next vaccine is Epivac Corona This is developed by Federal Budgetary Research Institute State Research Center of Virology and Biotechnology and which is approved in Russia. This information is previously updated so as we speak there might be different countries which might be approving different kind of vaccines and the vaccine the number of vaccines that will be approved also might change. Now let us see which is the first vaccine that has been approved. UK has approved the first vaccine. The MHRA from UK has approved the first vaccine which is developed by Pfizer and BioNTech and the vaccine is BNT162B2. The first person to get vaccinated is a UK a United Kingdom a grandmother Her name is Margaret Keenan. The first person in India is Mr. Manish Kumar in New Delhi, A I I M S. And now I believe I'll be the last person. No, when can we get vaccinated? The India has launched an app which is Covin, C O W I N. That is an app, and the link will be given in the description of this video. So please download the app. and follow the instructions and you will be notified when you can get vaccinated this video is just made uh, for a common man to be informative we will definitely come up with another session which is scientifically accurate and completely we will give the total information on what can, what is the composition what what drugs were used what kind of molecules were used and what are the, what are the effects on the human body thank you guys thank you so much for your time i hope this session is pretty informative 
and if you have any other doubts and if you think that you know i have missed on some information please do comment below thank you so much